everyone welcome back to my channel or if you are new then welcome today is wednesday i got weighed yesterday and i lost three pounds which i am so made up with um i felt like that just was a catch up from last week so fingers crossed i'm getting there and i've got six and a half pounds left i think till i'm back at target was it five and a half? I'm not sure. I'm not that far away now anyway. Um, but yeah, today's Wednesday. We should have dancing tonight, but because my car isn't fixed and Harry's obviously not well, we're not going to be going anywhere. Um, we have all tested last night and again this morning and we are all still negative. No one's got any symptoms other than Harry and he's been in his bedroom. Bless him. He keeps saying, I'm staying in my bedroom, mummy. I'm going to watch YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, he's coughing. Bless him. don't know if you can hear him. Um, but yeah, it's now Wednesday. I am again on plan. I'm gonna make breakfast now and I'll keep you updated throughout the day today with what I'm having. We did have a Chinese last night, but I didn't stay on plan. I had um beef and black bean with boiled rice, and I think it's about five and a half sins. Um so I've got half of that left. I might have that today, I'm not sure, but I will let you know anyway. Um so yeah, without me rambling on anymore, I'm gonna make breakfast and show you what it is that I'm having. First, I'm going to have some of the co-op high fibre bran. It's like the oil bran and 50 grams of that is your healthy extra B. Now, I bought this yesterday because I didn't even know that this existed. I seen it on, oh, I can't remember whose YouTube it was. I seen it on somebody's YouTube. If I can remember, I'll put it in the description box below. But I thought I'm going to give them a go. They don't look the best, but actually when they've been warmed up, they're actually really nice. I prefer them to, um, what's it called now? The ones that are like cornflakes, but the bran instead anyway i'm talking crap now but yeah these are 50 grams for your healthy extra b and you get quite a lot for that i've got my 350 mils of skimmed milk measured out i'm gonna have that with a banana some blueberries and some raspberries so i'll make it now and show you what it looks like and this is my breakfast all done so i have got 50 grams of the all brand i've got a banana for a free food and i've got blueberries and raspberries for a speed food got a cup of tea using some of the same healthy extra a milk allowance as i've used in my cereal and i have still got quite a bit left i don't have that much milk in my cereal i like them quite warm and quite dry i know i'm weird but you know and then i've got um some strawberry sugar-free ribena i've filled this up because i'm trying to be better at drinking throughout the day but what i've realized is if i don't make it and put it next to me then i'm less inclined to drink it so i've been filling one up in the morning one up at lunchtime and one up at tea time and i've been getting through them a little bit better so this is my breakfast it's completely sim free one healthy extra b and some of my first healthy extra a and what i also wanted to show you as well is i got these ingredients yesterday i got three boxes because I know that I'd love them. I had one last night and oh god, they are really good with a cup of tea. So yeah, I'm gonna eat breakfast now and I'll update you the next time that I have something to eat. Lunch time and it's waste not want now. So I'm just gonna have my leftover Chinese from last night. So I've got boiled rice and beef and black beans. So I'm gonna warm that up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. That'll be I'm gonna count five and a half sins again like I did yesterday. Or five sins. Ten and a half cents for the whole portion. So I'm going to count five since I counted five and a half yesterday. Um, and again, this will see me right through till my tea. But I'll make it now and show you what it looks like. This is my dinner all done. So I've got the boiled rice, the rest of the beef and black bean. I'm going to count five cents for this meal. And I'm on my second bottle of um, strawberry ribena. So yeah, I'm going to eat this lunch now because I'm absolutely starving. And I'm going to go in and give Harry's room a really good clean. Um, because obviously COVID germs open some windows, let some air circulate through. But yeah, I'm going to eat this now and I'll update you. It'll definitely be tea now because this will fill me right up right through till later on. Just washing some grapes because I'm going to do two tubs of the like grape sweets with the jelly crystals over the top um, just for the evening for a sweet treat. So these sachets are one and a half sins each. I'll split the grapes between two tubs, sprinkle one of these over each tub and then stick them in the freezer and then that'll see me through then. So it's one and a half sins for one tub um, and I usually, I don't always eat them in one go. I'll have a couple of a night if I'm craving something sweet and I've not got many sins left. So I'm going to make these now and I'll show you when they're done. The jelly pots all done. So I've got the raspberry sachet in this one and the strawberry sachet in that one. I'm going to use a label to put on the lid with the date, how many sins are in it, just so I remember when they go in the freezer. 
and yeah these are if you haven't had them i'm assuming probably most people on summer world will have had them but if you haven't they're definitely a really good sweet treat for the evening especially if you do like boiled sweets again i'm not really a massive fan but it is something sweet for in the evening when i've not got a lot of sins left so i'm gonna pop these in the freezer now so it's now what time is it seven o'clock nearly um i've had a bath because i just needed a bit of a pick me up um, it's been a bit of a shitty day with Harry not feeling too well and stuff like that. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to have for my tea. It'll be something quick. I might just chuck some chips in because I'm thinking I might have chips, cheese and gravy. It's a very northern thing. But um, yeah, I'll go and decide what I'm having for tea now and I will show you once I've made it. And this is my chips ready to go in. These are not all for me. Me and Paul will both be having chips, cheese and gravy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pop these in the oven now and I'll show you when they're done. And this is my chips, cheese and gravy now. I'm very aware that there's no speed on this, but I just don't fancy it. So yeah, I love chips, cheese and gravy. It takes me right back to when we were in school. But if you've never had this, you should definitely try it. It isn't for everyone, but I really, really love it. And yeah, it just reminds me of when I was younger. So I'm going to have this um another bottle of juice is my third one for the day and i'm not sure what i might have for snack later but i'll keep you updated oh and the gravy is two sins for 100 mils i enjoyed my chips cheese and gravy but paul has now come home with a treat for us and given the couple of days that we've had i'm not going to refuse the treat so i'll show you now what it is so i'll be finishing my day on sins unknown that's okay because we'll just move on to the next day which is tomorrow um but i'm not even going to regret eating one of these brownies so if you are triggered you can start watching the video now but if you like seeing the reality of sort of a day-to-day -day video and sometimes i do decide that i want to treat well today's one of those days and i'm just being real so i'll show you what it is that i'm having i've not decided which one i'm having yet but i'm going to show you anyway so he's brought me some treats back from Moon and Muffin Bakehouse. It's a lovely, lovely girl who lives local to us. This is her Instagram if you want to go and follow her. She um, will be eventually doing postals as well. So definitely worth going over there. And if you do go over, just let her know that I've sent you. Um, and then... <laughs> so Paul's already eaten one. As you can imagine, it was a Jammy Dodger Blondie that he's eaten. So we've got a Biscoff cookie pie kinder uh, blondie we've got a caramel brownie and we've got a chocolate orange brownie now these are like a huge slicer so if you see like the size of my hand they are quite big so i'll probably only have like a third of one of these but i'm still going to be on sins unknown i'm not going to absolutely scoff one of them because i will end up feeling sick but i'll have a small sliver um and that will be me for the evening me finishing on sins unknown that is the reality of today um, and I have got most of the way through my third bottle of juice. Um, so yeah, we'll just go again tomorrow. It's fine to have a day like this every now and again. So hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video when I stay on plan.